Hi, this is Jeff from Obedia, and in this video, I'm going to cover the drop-down menus in Pro Tools using the latest version, Pro Tools 11. The drop-down menus in Pro Tools are organized in a very common sense way. Just taking a few minutes to learn how they're organized and where the most important Pro Tools functions are will actually save you a lot of time in the long run. Once you have a decent command of how to use these menus, you will undoubtedly notice your speed and efficiency using Pro Tools increases significantly. The first menu I'd like to talk about is the File menu. That's in the leftmost top portion of your screen. And this menu features various selections for creating a new session, opening a session, saving in a variety of ways, as well as import and export of all the different types of session data. These include audio, video, MIDI, and clip files. The next menu over is the Edit menu. This is where you will find the majority of the audio, MIDI, and video clip editing tools available in Pro Tools. This includes common functions such as cut, copy, and paste, but also more specialized functions to Pro Tools, duplicate, repeat, insert, silence, as well as separate, clip, and consolidate. These are all very important functions anytime editing is necessary. So moving on to the View drop-down menu, this is where you'll go to configure the Pro Tools overall user interface, including tracks and sub-windows settings. Some of the functions that this menu covers include configuring which controls are accessible to the edit and mix windows, showing or hiding ruler views, viewing options for sends, the look of the waveform, as well as transport window options. One more over is the track drop-down menu. Now this menu is for any time you're working with a track-based configuration or operation in Pro Tools. These would include creating tracks, duplicating, deleting, grouping tracks, making them active or inactive, as well as input monitoring modes. Then we have the clip menu, previously known as the regions menu in Pro Tools 9 or earlier. And anytime you need to access functions specific to working with clips, this is the menu you'll go to. This includes operations for changing clip gain, grouping clips, looping clips, locking them, as well as other useful functions including elastic properties and conform to tempo. The next one up is the event menu. You want to use this menu for any time you need to use one of the functions in Pro Tools having to do with session-based events such as quantizing or tempo changes. Some other operations included in this drop-down menu are adding or deleting measures, moving the song start, changing tempo curves, as well as other MIDI tools including quantize, transpose, and step input. Two very important utilities I should mention here, Beat Detective and Identify Beat, found near the bottom of the event drop-down menu. These utilities are very useful when you need to identify the tempo of a particular audio clip, lock it to a session tempo, and even quantize audio clips if necessary. The next one is Audio Suite, and this is where you go to print plugins for permanent changes to your session. In other words, you'll probably use a lot of real-time plugins, but sometimes you just need to process something in place because you don't want to have a real-time plugin which uses CPU cycles just for that one little part. This is where you'll go to access all your installed plugins that have an audio suite version. They are non-real-time file-based processes that occur offline. This applies in effect permanently and it replaces the selection you've made with a new audio clip. Next to that is the options menu this is where you're going to go to access most of your main software settings for your Pro Tools session. These include playback related settings such as loop playback, pre and post roll, solo modes, also recording, loop recording, quick punch, and all the other recording modes are in here as well as delay compensation and scrolling options. Then we have the setup menu where you want to go to access your hardware settings. These would include your clock source, hardware playback buffers, I.O. setup to set up your inputs and outputs in Pro Tools, peripherals where you'll set up control surfaces. Your main Pro Tools preferences window is also in this menu, so when you need to change those, this is where you would go. Then we have the window menu, which is where you go to launch all the different Pro Tools session windows that are available. These include toggling between edit and mix, showing or hiding your transport window, workspace browser, memory location, undo history, and more. Then next to that is the Marketplace menu. These are simply quick links for support or to purchase additional Avid products. Some of the links here are links to your actual Avid user account, the web store, their Avid support center, as well as links to download the latest Pro Tools update. And finally, we have the Help menu. In this menu are links to web resources. 
and Pro Tools documentation you're likely to access a lot when needing to look something up or figure out an error. These links include online help, links to the Avid audio forums, as well as the Pro Tools manual, keyboard shortcuts, and plugins guides. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for tuning in, guys. You can reach us on the web via Twitter at twitter.com forward slash Tutor or on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Tutor. See you next time.